guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a budget with me for may week four we are budgeting 220 dollars <clears throat> i have all my categories written down i do have to add a couple to bills because there was a couple after pay purchases made listen i have habits okay and i want things so I don't want to feel like I am restricting myself to get things that I want. So Afterpay helps out with that. <laughs> but before I do that, I do want to finish eating my brunch. It is 10.36 right now and today is... Today is May 18th. So yes, I'm going to be filming this. Um, but I do want to finish eating my brunch first. And I wanted to show you because I made these last night and there was leftovers. So I was like... I was making my cup of coffee and I saw them and I was like, I'm definitely eating these right now. Um, so these are empanadas. I am Puerto Rican, so we call them patelillos. And yeah, I made beef and then I made one pizza one last night. So good. Um, I also know how to make the chicken ones. Super good. And my mom makes really good shrimp ones. So good. Um, and then also I am going to be updating my uh, dollar a day challenge from Donna Powered by Creativity so stay tuned for that and i will be right back after i eat my breakfast lunch brunch <laughs> okay <clears throat> so hopefully uh, no. okay so we are working on may week four and that is from 5 25 to 531 so actually that more looks like okay it's because i get paid on the fourth week I, I was confusing myself because then this would be like the paycheck for week five but um so we get paid on the 24th but that's covered already so we're working from 25 to the 31st so if it's highlighted it's already covered so that's covered our next bill would be i don't know if you could see but it would be an after pay payment for 13 dollars. so we're gonna add that in Thirteen, and then we have vicky's for 35 And then we have Canon Ink for 11. And then we have another afterpay payment for 22. And this afterpay payment, so I have been wanting this wallet forever and I got it. And she actually just restocked and launched the pink ones. So I was going back and forth between getting another A7 or an A6. Um, I may or may not still get the A7, but I chose to get the pink one in an A6 version. And this is from Simple Budget Plans, and I'm so excited. I love the quality of this wallet. Um, so that is where that came from. So now that we have all the bills covered, we are done with this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add the total and then subtract it from the total budget. So 35 plus 11 plus 13 plus 22. So bills is $81. And then for my wallet, let's see, 220 minus 81. I'm just gonna put nine, we should have put 19. No, nine should be good. We'll put nine. Gas always gets 25. But my son is going to be off, I think, one day. So that's one day less I have to drive. So I'm just going to put 20. Um, okay, so we have 139 after we take away the 81 from our total amount. So minus nine minus 20 for gas um household could get five 
Uh, kids could get five and miscellaneous could get five. Actually, I'm just going to cross this out. I don't need anything for my house. And miscellaneous doesn't need to get stuffed. So we'll just give kids 12. No, we'll give them 10. Okay. So 220. Let's just add the total for this. 9 plus 20 plus 10 is 39. So 220 minus 81 minus 39 leaves us with $100 for savings challenges. So let's see what we're going to do as far as savings challenges go. So I definitely want to knock out the next big number in my 100 envelope savings challenge which is 20 so we will do that right 100 envelope it's going to get 20 so minus 20 um minis can get 25 and then that leaves $55 for anything else so I do want to allocate $10 for my dollar a day so that'll be 10 and then that leaves 45 for my regular saving challenge binder So I'm going to give this one $10. So this is envelope two, I get 10. And then envelope four, um, envelope four can get 11. Envelope 8 is my monthly challenge, and I think I only need $8 to complete it, so we'll give that one 8. And I know I'm trying to complete this one as well, so we'll give this $8. Alright, let me see where we're at, because I have not been subtracting. So 20 minus 25 minus 10 minus 10 minus 11 minus 8 minus 8 leaves us with $8. Um, so we can do, let's see, 18, I guess this can get. The last eight dollars. <clears throat> and that leaves us with a zero based budget, zero based budget. Yay! Alright, 
so that is what it is looking like for our next cash stuffing so that brings this video to an end i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a thumbs up comment down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the princessa budget fam on that note i hope you guys are staying safe staying blessed having an amazing day night wherever you are and i will catch you guys in the next video bye